The courtroom erupted in loud applause, as if a collective cry of joy filled the room. The camera flashes flickered like fire, capturing every moment of this historic celebration. Adele felt like he was floating on a cloud of happiness. His eyes were fixed on Alia, who was crying tears of joy, her shimmering tears like gemstones reflecting all the emotions words couldn't express. In that moment, he felt as though his life had come full circle. With the flashes continuing, memories began flooding back into Adele's mind. Each photo taken restored a piece of his past with Alia. Adele quickly rushed toward Alia, who was standing with her father, trying to comprehend the reality of her release. Adele, passionately. Alia! Alia, looking at him in astonishment. Adele? Adele, with tears in his eyes. I remember everything now. You were always a part of me. I never forgot you. Alia, her voice trembling. Adele, I never expected that you would be the one to defend me. You saved me. Adele, holding her hands. I knew deep down that you were innocent and I had to prove it. I'm sorry I wasn't there from the beginning, but thank God I came at the right time. Alia, in tears. I knew you would come back to me one day. Thank you, Adele. Adele, in a tender tone. Let's start over. We deserve a new beginning, a new life. They exchanged words of love, tears, and nostalgia, recalling all the beautiful moments they had spent together. And they promised to stay by each other's side, defending the rights of others. While Adele and Alia spoke, Alia's father approached them, his face beaming with gratitude and happiness. Alia's father, patting Adele's shoulder, Thank you, son. You saved my daughter, and I cannot express how grateful I am. Adele, with humility and respect. It was my duty, sir. I'm just happy I was able to prove her innocence. Adele, hesitating a little, then speaking firmly. Sir, I have a request. Would you allow me to ask for Alia's hand in marriage? Alia's father, smiling warmly. Of course, son. You've proven that you deserve her. I bless you both with all my heart. Alia, tears of joy filling her eyes. Yes. The room filled with joy and yululations, and everyone began celebrating this wonderful news. The press surrounded them, and cameras captured moments of happiness and emotion. Journalists, cheering, congratulations, congratulations. After the celebrations, Adele and Alia left the courtroom, surrounded by their friends and loved ones. Their hearts were filled with hope, and they began planning for a bright future together. Adele, with a wide smile. We have a lot to do, Alia. This is the beginning of a new chapter in our lives. Alia, with enthusiasm. Yes, and we'll face all the challenges together. With smiles and gazes filled with love, Adele and Alia began their new journey, leaving behind all the injustice and pain, heading toward a bright future full of love and hope. A few days after the celebration of Alia's acquittal and their engagement, Adele decided to visit Alia's home. The garden was wide and beautiful, filled with various flowers that reflected Alia's love for nature. Adele, walking among the flowers, gently touching one of them. What a beautiful garden. As he wandered, a particular flower caught his attention, one that resembled the flower he encountered on the island. He knelt down to it and began speaking to it softly. Adele, in a low voice. I remember seeing a flower like you on that magical island. It inspired me with hope, but now I have the most beautiful flower. Suddenly, a butterfly appeared, resembling the one he had ridden on the island, though much smaller. It fluttered its beautiful wings as if congratulating him on his marriage and the successes he had achieved. Adele, with a smile. Are you here too? Do you remember me? As Adele was engrossed in talking to the flower and the butterfly, Alia appeared behind him, smiling. Alia, playfully. My love, have you started talking to flowers now? Adele, turning to her with a smile. Yes something that hasn't been forgotten. We are like trees, standing tall and proud, but our roots fight in the darkness, clinging to the soil, searching for the water of life. Our branches reach for the sky, seeking the light. I have a long story to tell you.